The next thing we want to take a look at are the different ways that you can put alerts, notes, and messages in the patron account. And there are different usages for different categories. Messages that you see here on the screen is the newest means of adding messages and information into your patron account. There are a couple of older ways. Uh, one is on the edit screen. So if you scroll down, there is an option to add an alert message here. It's up to your library how you want to use these different fields. It's recommended to have a plan for how to use them and have all staff use them consistently. The alert message here in the edit screen is for informational use, so you can add any kind of alert here, but it will not block the patron from checking out or holds or renewals or any of those things. It is just a way to alert staff to some information. I have added a note like patron has low vision and needs large print materials. So this is something that staff will always see when they're assisting this patron. So you can add that information here or if I don't save this and go to messages, of course, it will ask me if I really meant to do that. So I can also create an alert on the messages screen. If I click on apply penalty message, I choose whether it's a note, an alert, or I can actually block the patron from performing certain actions. So for this, I might want to add it as, as an alert and click OK. So it says alerting no blocks and it tells me what the message is. So it, every time I pull up the patron account, that information is there. And this one has the advantage of being dated, whereas the one in the edit screen will not have a date unless you add it as part of the note. So let's look at another type of message we might add. So maybe we want to say, um, Patron has a habit of leaving her keys at the desk. And we'll click OK. So you'll notice that because I made this a note, it is not an alert, so it does not show up on this area of the patron summary. And if I go to Other and Display Alerts and Messages, which will take me back to the way the screen will look when I first log into the patron account. So you can use that anytime to see what alerts are present on the patron account. Even though this lists it as a penalty, there's not an actual penalty associated with it because it says no blocks. It's just an alerting note to say the patron has low vision. But the other note I put in does not show. So that's something you'll want to keep in mind as you're determining which of these categories to use. Now, if you use a block, you will actually block the patron from performing certain actions. So you do want to be um, cautious about how you use this. So let's say that the patron was doing something they shouldn't on the public computers and looking at inappropriate material and a staff member needs to have a conversation with the patron. So you might want to block the patron until the patron speaks to the circulation manager. In that case, you might want to place a block on the patron account. And when I click OK, it will also show as an alert message um, because there are blocks in place. And you can see this is a block on circulation, hold, and renewal. That will prevent the patron from circulating materials, placing holds, or renewing items. Now, once a staff member has had that conversation with the patron and you want to remove the block, you can highlight it and go to the Actions menu. And your options are to remove it, which would essentially be to delete it, to modify it so you can edit any of these messages, or to archive it. So you want to keep a record of it and not delete it completely, but you don't want it to continue to block the patron. So I'm going to archive that. 
you can see it moved down to the bottom part of the screen. So that's where all the archived penalty messages are. You can always search further back. So if I wanted to search back into previous years, I could enter that information and or just change my date here if I want to go back to 2000. Obviously, this only goes back as far as you've been using Evergreen and putting information in. So uh, you won't find penalties or messages from your old ILS in this tab. But this archived penalty is no longer applying a block to my patron. So once I refresh the screen, you can see the message has gone away and my patron doesn't have any blocks in place. The third way that you can add information to a patron account is here in Other, and it's called Notes. Now this is where you can put in a patron visible note. This is from some OPAC training that we did. I added this note so that we could see it from the patron side. This is from the staff side. So if I want to add a new note, I can choose to make it patron visible or not. Um, it could be that you want to add something that's just visible to staff and you don't want it to be so prominent that it's an alert. If you wanted to add additional contact information, the patron maybe moves a lot and uh, you need another contact person, you can add it here and you would just put uh, the person's name and phone number here. Um, there may be other use cases that you all can think of, but this is not something that's very prominent in the account, so uh, you may find that you use alerts more. Whenever you open a patron account, if there are notes, it will show here, and this is a clickable field that will bring you right here to the note. If you make something patron visible, you can tell whether the patron has visited that information and maybe deleted it on their side is to click on other and message center. So any notes that have been left for the patron will show up here in the message center. You can see there's an old note here that said the patron card was at the circulation desk and the patron deleted it. This note, the patron hasn't deleted it yet or marked it as red. So patrons can mark it as red or delete it. They haven't done either, so you may want to continue to leave it there in case the patron hasn't seen it yet. So if we go back to notes and maybe the patron on their next visit picks up their umbrella, you can go ahead and delete this note. But you'll notice you don't have the option to edit it. So notes cannot be edited. They can only be added and then deleted. So keep that in mind again as you're utilizing these.